Hey Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 9.1, number 29, and here we were asked to find the first five terms of this recursive sequence. And I'm just going to write this down so that we have it, recursive sequence. The reason I know this is a recursive sequence is because our current term, a sub n, and let me write current term, is being defined in terms of a previous term a sub n minus 1. And whenever you have that situation where your current term is defined in terms of a previous term, right, we're recursing. That's what the re stands for, you know, like we're going backwards. And with any of these recursive sequences, they have to give you a starting point, and they do. They told me, and I'll, I'll color code this, they told me a sub 1 was negative 1. All right, so I have my starting point. So I'm going to play this out for a sub 2. I want us to go through how we find a sub 2, and then I'll, I'll start looking at all of the work I've done over here. All right, so if I want a sub 2, and let me get a different color up, I want you to notice that the subscript is 2. So my n value is 2. I'm going to plug in n for 2, or excuse me, 2 for n there, and 2 for n there. And when I start to play this out, this is going to become negative 3 to the 2 minus 1 over a sub 2 minus 1 minus 2. And let me simplify, well in one case the exponent, in one case the subscript. So this becomes negative 3 with an exponent of 1. This subscript becomes a sub 1, and then I have this minus 2. And that's all fine because again, if we look, we know what a sub 1 was. It was defined right at the beginning as negative 1, so now I'm going to sub that value in. So this becomes negative 3 to the first power still, and then I have negative 1 minus 2. So when I simplify this a little bit, it all boils down to 1. So at this point, I know a sub 2 is equal to 1. And let me just remind ourselves our starting point was a sub 1 was negative 1. So now I can repeat this process with a sub 3. right? So let me go ahead. I have a bunch of different colors in here. Let me go ahead and unscramble that and show you where we're going. So if I look at a sub 3, my, and my n value is 3, so I'm going to plug in a 3 here and a 3 here. All right, and when I do that, then I'm going to get negative 3 to the 2 minus 1, and then I'm going to have a sub 2 minus 1. Oops, excuse me. I am plugging in the wrong n value. I hope we caught it. Okay, I'm plugging in n equaling 3. So this should be 3 minus 1, and then this should be a sub 3 minus 1, and then minus 2. So when we simplify this, this is negative 3 squared over a sub 2 minus 2. And again, I'm going to recurse. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to pick up that previous term, which a sub 2 was 1, and I'm going to substitute that in right there. So this is going to become negative 3 squared over 1 minus 2. That's 9 over negative 1. Oops, that's a negative 1 there, which is negative 9. Ooh, I keep hitting wrong buttons. Sorry about that. All right, and that's where I'm getting this equation. And then you keep on repeating that process, and the more you repeat it, you can see that the terms get slightly uglier, but we can just work through them. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.